Hello, it's Sarah. And hopefully this will stay in the shot. I have shadows and everything. Let's see. So today I just wanted to do a little beading tutorial. Um, I've been beading for hmm, about five, six years. And I like to play with beads. I, um, I find beads very like text. I don't know what the word is textile, but um, I like all types of beads. I like it really actually got me into silver because I always wore gold jewelry, so I never really wore silver jewelry. Um, but in the summer, I do like to wear a little, um, like a very light bracelet on my right hand. Um, because I'm right-handed, sometimes when you wear a bracelet, it can clink around. Like, I always have these on. These are just my bracelets that I, I never take off and my wedding ring. I never take them off. But I change this hand. My right hand, I change. Anyway, um, what I wanted to get at with you guys, and listen, I don't remember where I got all this stuff. It's been years of, I used to order online a lot. Um, and I mean, I go to Michael's, AC Moore, Hobby Lobby, all the different craft stores. So I mean, pretty much anywhere um, these types of things are sold, I've probably bought some. So forgive me i actually i know that i got these charms this um eiffel tower charm this little parish charm and this florida lee i know that that was from an etsy seller so right off the bat i just want to say if please um just look and you know what happens to me all the time too i don't really know why but i'll buy head pins and they're really stiff and they're, they're not the kind i want so i've wasted a lot of packs of that so um, there's a lot of research to be done if you really want to know about this stuff, but for me, um, I just try. You just got to try it and, you know, and see what happens, but it's really not hard, and I want to just show you. So this one, it all started with this bracelet, and this, believe it or not, well, this is, um, I want to say this is bead landing, though, the Hope, H-O-P-E. Those charms came in a set they came like in a pack that you just get I think I have a love one too and then because it had the black enameling and stuff I just added in a few like black charms I made an angel um, and then I have like this bead hanging with a little angel charm so and and I love it it's very comfortable to wear I put a toggle clasp on it and it's a bit bigger but these you can buy in sets and you can get them like sets there's like six sets of them so but then I also have this which is I'm gonna be looking over here so this is basically how I keep my stuff look I mean that's why I'm never gonna know I mean obviously these are blue moon beads that says bead landing now this is just in a bag but that doesn't mean it's from this place. No. This is just a bag that I've had in my, you know, that I used for something else. But there's all my different chain in this bag. And then I also have my um, toggle clasp. So I just keep it all in one bag so I can just grab the bag and then I'm ready to go. Um, the same thing with the head pins and the eye pins. I have, uh, oh, and there's also um, crimp beads in here, which I would definitely be looking for. I don't know why they're in there, but you know what? I think I'm going to take them out of there. But um, because you don't need crimp beads for this, well, it depends. Um, and then there's, they also sell these type of things where I keep um, just a bunch of different sizes of, um, these are jump rings. So, uh, and then this one is, this was like a little gift that I got with an order one time. And I keep my Made With Love charms in here and my small, um, which I'm almost out of, but these are like the smallest jump rings that I have right now. So those I just can grab and I know where they are. So, um, but this bracelet, I was just going to say, it's so, <clears throat> it's comfortable. It's very comfortable to wear. And toggles you just take and it's easy to put on yourself. Just kind of wiggle it through. And it's very comfortable to wear. But it's a bit, oh, see, you can't even see, I'm not even in the shot. It's a bit long and, you know, it. I don't know. I don't want it for every day. But, so this one that I made last night, I just wanted to show you how simple it is. So, I picked the chain from my little chain collection. 
and I was feeling this because I really love this chain. I want to show you this one too. I made this one last year. I really, really, really like this chain. It's like, it's textured. It's got this like texture on the fronts and backs of it. So, and then I made it with these little acrylic flowers. And again, guys, just Google it. Don't, I don't have a bead vendor. Um, plus I was given some and, but these I think I did buy, but you just Google it. Um, or look on YouTube for other videos that may be able to give you a, um, a place to get them. And then I just made these little dangles and you attach it to the chain. You put your um, toggle on there too. But this, I, I wanted something a little brighter. This is my mom's ring. This was my mom's and it's just sterling silver. I think she got it from QVC. I think these are um, diamondique. They're not real diamonds. I wish they were. Um, but I wanted something a little higher shine. I'm not in the shot again. So this chain I really liked and it's very delicate. Like even if, if I um, show you it up against this chain, you can see the difference. It's quite a bit more delicate, even though this is a delicate chain. Um, so that's what I went for. So I, what I do is I'm a seven inch bracelet person. So I like to wear a seven inch bracelet. And so I just like put the toggle now the toggles um, like I said I think I used um, my littler top the littler toggles I didn't want it to be I can't find my bag of toggles oh I know where it is but this is pretty small and this may even be sterling silver I'm not positive which I know the chain is not sterling silver none of the other findings are sterling silver but this may be because um, when I was selling my jewelry I would get sterling silver so I'm pretty sure see look now I know these are not sterling silver I got those at Michael's but these are littler and they may be sterling silver um, which is fine um, all right so what what I like to do is basically lay out the chain um, and then put the toggle at the end of it so that it comes to about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right around seven inches. So you can kind of judge based on putting a jump ring at each end too, because you're going to connect the toggle to the chain with a jump ring. So you can see that. So that's how I get my length, first of all. And then I'll just attach the jump ring to the toggle. Um, I'm sorry, the the toggle to the chain with a jump ring and then you have your chain and then you start making your little bead dangles and for this one I bought these yesterday and these are sweet these are glass pearls um, because sometimes pearls will peel off when you get I mean I didn't want to buy I think I have real pearls but I didn't want to get real pearls I think these were $1.99 and they're glass and these are actually pink so they're not white they're little pink pearls and I don't know the millimeter because that's the other thing there's a millimeter size but these looked good to me I just knew I wanted delicate so I have this chain here and I think I want to add these these charms to it too I'm gonna add some charms and just show you I picked to make it because it wasn't even there's only five pearls on this one and I think I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pearls on this one. So this one's a little more, has few, a few more dangles, but I think this is going to look cool if I put, and I think I'm going to switch this. So when you're designing, you just, I just lay it out. I'm going to go away and come back. I lay out and see, you can tell like this isn't spaced evenly. Let me get this. It's not spaced evenly. It's not perfect. I mean, I just kind of eyeball it. And then when it's on your wrist, you won't know it's not perfect. But like this, these two are way more, um, there's more space. But I'm going to put these in between and I'll show you what I do for that. I just take, I'm going to try and just use these little jump rings. These are my smallest ones I have. I like to use little ones. And they're a nice millimeter size too. That's another thing. Like these, um, come in like a flimsier metal and like a harder metal so you kind of just have to play I'm not a professional so I don't know what to tell you about that it's been trial and error for me so I guess I mean that's what I'm gonna have to tell you so I just take a jump ring is it's a ring 
and it has this split in it, or maybe you can call it a split. No, a split ring is a different thing. And you open it by pushing it open like that. You don't pull it open, you twist it open. And then I'm just gonna take my little charms. Oops, move this out of the way for a sec. And this will have a front and a back because it's uh, only bling on. Let's see if I'm in the shot here. And make sure you're through the, there we go. And then you just push it back together. And it's as simple as that. I mean, it's that simple. You can have yourself a little cute um, charm bracelet almost, you know? And I looked yesterday, I was specifically looking for a high polish um, dangle, a high polish charm. So that's kind of what led me to the pearls. I just knew that I could, that I had these little bead caps and I'll show you what a bead cap, I know I'm off camera, but I'm just attaching that in between two. Um, <clears throat> this is a bead cap, so I'll show you. I have these pearls. So you could totally make this however you want. I have these little um, silver bead. Now these could be sterling silver too. They've been in my stash forever. And um, they have, also they have like a certain size hole in them so that you'll know uh, some holes are smaller, but I like to put just the pearl on the bottom. So the pearl gets, it'll be held on by the bottom of that um, uh, uh, pin. And then I do a bead cap, but you could also do like one of these rondelles. You could put a rondelle on there and then put your little ball on top of that if you wanted it more blinged out, you know. So for mine, all I did, I just kept it real simple and just put this silver bead cap. It's a high polish, that's why I liked it. And a, and a ball on top. That's it. And then I just wire, like I'm not real good at the, um, at twisting, making the perfect like eye. So I just fold it over, I cut off the excess, and then I twist it up into a, like that. And that's it. That, and the, see how it's crooked? It's not even straight. But I mean, you can kind of tip it back a little if you want, make it a little straighter. But basically, I'm like I said, I'm not a perfectionist. And if I were selling the jewelry, I'd probably really try to um, get it as perfect as I can. But it isn't, um, you know, it's not manufactured by a, a a machine. I mean, it's hand hand done. So um, I don't know. I personally, depending on how much you're charging for it, you would want to, you know, make sure it lasts a little while. I would say. So anyway, so look, that's how simple it is. And I'm going to put this last one on. Um, but yeah, I have uh, lots of. I've made um, my name bracelet, which is not here right now to show you. I was into, I really, really was into beading for like a minute there. You know me, I go from thing to thing. I'm going to be doing some mixed media ATCs shortly, and I'm hoping I might do a video on that because I'm um, doing a swap with Birdie. Um, and I am happy to do it because I haven't been playing with my mixed media stuff as much as, you know, I have all the stuff and it's fun to get it out again. So there it is. This is my little um, paris -y one. I'm going to take the one I have on off and lay it side by side so you can see. This is the one that's just uh, pearls. So see, it's about, I think it's about the same now. And when I put it on, I tend to go like this. Like, I'm going to see if I can get my hand in the shot. But I just like to, because it's a toggle, you drape it across. Well, actually, this has a front end that looks right. But you drape it over your arm like that. And then you just go up and grab the other side and pull it all the way through. And that's it. And there it is. Look how cute. I might wear that one today now. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's super cute. So, um, but I knew I wanted um, 
something with a high polish to it. And then this is just the plain, plain pearls. Isn't that cute? See this one, I don't know. I think some of the stuff is going to tarnish. Obviously it's not, even r real silver is going to tarnish. Um, but I think what I liked about this was with the, um, it has a little bit of patina to it because of the way it's made. Like this one had that, like the darkness to the metal. So it all kind of went together. Oh, excuse me, my iced coffee. You know, like, I mean, it, sometimes silver is supposed to be a little bit more patinaed. So I don't know. I just felt like for this one, I really wanted just all high, high polish. Um, so let me see, what else was I going to say? Um, I think that's it. I mean, this is basically to where I keep, these are just different findings. You can get these at Michael's. And so that's when I buy my jewelry, I plop it in here. So if I'm looking for, you know, bead caps and spacers and all that different stuff, it's just in here. I have rondelles in here. I still do keep some stuff in bags. <clears throat> um, but for the most part, I just dump it in here. I think the stuff in the bags, probably there wasn't a spot for it. So it's just like still in the bag. Um, and then I have, I have tons of these. I have at least 10 of these filled with different beads. Um, and so, you know, that's why honestly, I'm sorry. I can't tell you where I get everything. Um, I go, I get whatever I see. If I like it, I get it. So um, that's it. I hope you guys give it a try and make yourself a nice little summer bracelet. All right, thanks for watching.